Ever been in a traffic jam and suddenly, BAM, you witness a police stop? The one in a million traffic stop. Well, today in this video, we've got five cases where the worst traffic stops ever happened. My sister might have something in there as well. Hey! Hey! Stop! <laughs> In Tulsa, Oklahoma, a routine traffic stop turned chaotic when a police officer arrested Merrick Ovierick, a 25-year-old man. Initially pulled over for faulty taillights at South Sheridan and 9th Street, Vieric's possession of a retired police officer's license raised suspicion. When the sergeant attempted to arrest Vieric, things escalated into a physical altercation, leading to the use of pepper spray. Shockingly, Vieric retaliated by spitting the spray back at the sergeant. Adding to this, a banned substance was found in Vieric's pocket, and interestingly, it was revealed that the retired police officer's driver's license license had been misplaced at a local casino. Get back in the truck. Stay in the truck. Stay in the truck. Excuse me, sir. Mama! I'm a minor. Mama! She, she's in there. Move your Mama! leg. Mama! Move your leg. Mama! What are you Shut doing? your mouth, dude. Bro, I'll record this. Mama! How old are you? I'm 17. Okay. Get your hands off me before my mom comes out here and up. She's gonna call the cops. There's a camera right there right. in my window. In my window. You are Give being me your recorded. other hand. You are being recorded. Give me your other you hand. You are being recorded, sir. Give me your other hand. Window. Give me your other hand. Here, you hit me. I'm 17 years old. Bro. Okay. You hit me. You're I don't right care there. how old you are. Mama! I'm not throwing them at you. I'm throwing them at my mom's window. Let me throw Stop. Give me your other stop. hand behind your back. Stop. Give me your hand stop. behind your back. Stop, sir. Please stop. Give me your hand Please behind your stop. back. I'm gonna pepper spray you. I love the Give me your hand behind your back. There Mama! we go. How hard does this have to Mama! be? Mama! Shut your mouth. Mama, you won't leave me alone! He's hiding me, Mama! 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 Shut your mouth. Mama! Well, Mariko immediately started shouting, Mama, Mama, like a child caught in the moment. But hold on, he's not a child anymore. He pretends to be 17, but in reality, he's 25. Despite insisting to the officer that he's 17, the officer wasn't buying it and put handcuffs on him. Mama, he's hurting me! He's hurting me, Mama! Mama. He's stay, hurting stay back me. in there. Mama, he's hurting stay back me. in there. I don't know, Mama, I didn't do nothing! He just came up here. Stay Mama. back, stay back there. Mama, I'll explain it to you me. in a minute. I'll make it explain with him screaming. <laughs> Yeah, bro, I came in here and parked and he started, he came behind me. I didn't even do nothing. And All then he video. came up to my window and he grabbed me out my window, mama. And there's a tell, tell him there's a camera, bro. You've seen everything, bro. Tell him about your well, camera, good. bro. Good, good. Good. I got a camera going too. Okay, thank you. The whole time. Okay, thank you. Now get your handcuffs off me. I'm 17. It doesn't work like that. It does work like that. I ain't have, no, I have no juvenile record. I haven't did anything. Okay. When you try and hop out of the truck, I didn't hop out of the truck. And when you act like this, because I'm, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs. I don't care that you're mad. Nigga, me and my girlfriend just got into it. You grab me like that. I'll grab me like that. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Choke me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Yeah. Tell me. Ma'am, I'm not choking anybody. Yes, you are. Right. Get in my face. Charlie, 30, hold traffic. No, I'm not doing nothing. I can't breathe. I had to get that out of my mouth. <laughs> when the officer saw that Mariko wouldn't listen calmly, he felt compelled to use the pepper spray on him. But then, as he sprayed Mariko, Mariko spat it back at the officer, worsening the situation. The officer struggled to breathe and could not see clearly, which made him need another officer to control the situation. Turn around. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry. I can't breathe, sir. Oh, I can't breathe either. I'm sorry. <coughs> this is a community. Can't see my eyes burn so bad. Mama. Mine too, dude. <laughs> Mama, come my ass, please. I can't breathe, my I need my inhaler, bro. I can't breathe. It's in your room. Stand back there, man. Okay. I'm sorry, sir. 
I'm waiting for an additional officer. <laughs> Thanks for spitting in my face, dude. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, but this burns. Yep, it does. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Can I run my eyes, No, we're going to stay right like this. Oh, okay. So I get help. I'm cool. I'm cool. Please, my eyes hurt, sir. My eyes hurt so bad, Bubba! I need air. Ma'am, you need to go back. Okay. Mama, can you put some ice on my mama? I need water on my face. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam, it burns so bad. It burns so bad. It burns so bad. Can I get water for his face? You can get water for my face, too, please. Yes, yes ma'am, you can. Yes, yes, run. Run, run, run. Oh, sorry, sorry. What do I do? What do I do? Can I get it? Uh... Man, you, I got it, too. I'm sorry. If you spit it back in my face. I'm sorry, you got it in my mouth directly. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Did I warn you several times not to do that? Yeah, you did. Hey, come get him. Please, can you help me? I please? got pepper spray in the face. Come on. After his arrest, Mariko Vierick, age 25, faced multiple charges, including assault and battery upon a police officer, possession of controlled drugs without a prescription, and driving without a license. Well, just after witnessing this man get pepper sprayed, another one steps in, thinking of himself as the hero. In a video from June 12, 2023, Ferndale, Michigan police officers encounter a dramatic situation during a routine traffic stop. Speeding at over 30 miles per hour above the limit, the driver of a Jeep raises suspicions of drunken driving as the vehicle teeters dangerously. Identified as 25-year-old Donald Brazell, the driver initially provides fake credentials, including a North Carolina driver's license, phony insurance information, and a counterfeit license plate. But wait, what happened next? You gotta watch yourself. Officers came back to the Jeep, Brazel tried to run away. This made one officer jump into the vehicle bravely to stop something bad from happening. While they fought for control, the officer begged Brazel to stop as they sped through the streets. Finally, Brazel stopped in a Kroger parking lot and officers quickly took control of him. After looking into it more, they found out about a lot of crimes he was involved in, like having many warrants and driving a stolen Jeep. Now let's check this out. 606 rental traffic. Yeah. Put a black Jeep high rate of speed, westbound 8 mile. Land them up now, looks like they're stopping in front of the Kroger on West 8. Wyoming and West 8. Plate's gonna be 088 Mary 638 088M 638. I'll take another car. How are you doing tonight? Yes, Officer Jelly, you know why I'm stopping you? Uh, probably that was sliding back there. My four wheel drive is acting up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you were sliding back there, and then yeah. the reason for the speed is what? No reason at all. Um, okay. Is there your driver's license? Yeah, driver's license. This car registered to you, sir? No, sir. I saw it's a manufacturer plate. Yeah. Where's it come back to? Uh, it's still come back to the dealership. The, the dealership? Yeah, it was a recall on my last one. Okay. What dealership does it come back to? Uh, I still got on uh, what do you mean? Not Farmington or manufacturer? I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I know I had a recall on my last one. So. Gotcha, okay. okay. The same problem, though. I got the same problem. Right here it says, sir, four wheel drive. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in the car I gotta be worried about, right? No, sir. Okay. The driver, identified as 25-year-old Donald Brazell, gave police a fake North Carolina license, fake insurance information, and had a fake license plate. You from North Carolina, Bo? Gotcha, okay. Any problem? No, I'm just making sure the VIN matches up, that's it. Okay. Can I pop in the door open so I can see the VIN? I ain't got it over there. It should be right here on the inside of the door. Yeah. It should have been right here, <laughs> is where it should have been. Right? But yeah, they just threw me this one. They said this is something they use this. Oh, okay. Do errands in, so um, I'm stuck with a foot too much. It might be fixed. Gotcha. Uh, you have the... Um, the what? I don't remember. Is uh, there something here or nothing? For the VIN? No, the only other place for the VIN would be under 
I'd have to check the chassis, but I'm not going under there right now. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll figure it out in a second here. As the two officers approached Brazel's pulled over vehicle, he suddenly hit the gas and attempted to flee. Reacting swiftly, one officer, with his arms still inside the car, made the split second decision to pull himself into the vehicle to avoid being dragged by the Jeep. You know where else the VIN might be on this, right? No. That's about it. Not a car okay. All right, you're gonna have to shut the car off. Shut the car off for me, real quick, bud. So, if you take your seatbelt off for me. Yeah, take it off. I'm gonna have you step off for me. Don't don't take off. In this gripping moment, the officer wrestled with Brazel for control of the speeding vehicle, his voice urgent as he shouted, relax, stop, we're gonna crash. After a tense struggle, Brazel eventually brought the vehicle to a halt in what appeared to be a Kroger parking lot. Oh, Stop, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. Relax, dude, listen, relax, 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 you're gonna get tased, relax! Relax! You're gonna get tased, bro! Relax! I don't feel safe, bro. Okay, stop. relax! I don't feel safe, Listen bro. Listen to me, relax! I don't feel safe, Relax! Bro. Okay! I don't feel safe, You bro. gotta stop! You gotta stop! You gotta stop! I don't feel safe, bro. You gotta stop, dude! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, relax! Bro. You gotta, okay, relax! I don't feel safe, bro. Come on, this shit feels dangerous as hell. Relax! Me, We're not gonna kill you, relax! Get out of the car! Relax! Hey! Get out of the car! Look at me! Okay, I'm gonna get out. No! Go. All right, relax. Listen, get off. Get off the accelerator. Get out of the car. You're gonna get a tased right now. Hey, I'm getting tased. Get out, bro. You're getting tased. Tase me, bro. Get out. Tase me, bro. Get out of the car. Get out. Okay, let me. No, you're getting out of the damn car. I'm gonna get out the car. No, hey, right now. I'm gonna get out the car. No. Listen, I'm getting out the car. Get out the car. Step out. All right. Step out of the car. Alright, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground now. I'm right. on the ground now. Alright, alright, bro. Yeah, you almost f killed me. Oh, for what, dude? For what? You can fear all you want. You don't think I was in fear for my life? Hey, do me a favor, shut up. These are a game, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? The officer who wrestled with Brazel ended up hurting his knee during the intense struggle, showing just how risky police work can be. But even with this setback, he didn't give up. Instead, he went through rehab and got back to work, proving how tough and committed our officers are to keeping us safe. It's a reminder of the challenges they face every day to protect our communities. Get him off. That's cool. Right. What were you thinking, dude? Cool. Search him. I want to search him. Hard falling. Is that what it is? Is that you're in? You're in a hot car? And you in the car? Yeah. I'm going to shut the car off. Oh, I think I blew my knee out. You good? Yeah. Dude. Right yeah, I'm good. Is he a yeah, he's in the back of my partner's car. Okay. Drag me. Oh. Just sit down, man. Don't even Dude, I gotta stand up. I gotta stand up so I don't like sitting down. <laughs> it's gotta be. He's, the VIN's off it. As soon as I pointed that out to him, he f put that bitch in drive and started dragging me with him. Donald Brazell is facing some serious legal trouble following his wild encounter with the Ferndale police. He's been hit with two counts of resisting and obstructing police and fourth degree fleeing and eluding charges. But wait. There's more. Those charges are just the tip of the iceberg. 
turns out, Brazel had a stack of open warrants from Southfield, all tied to fraud and concealing stolen property. And if that wasn't enough, his rap sheet already includes time served for armed robbery and weapons charges, according to the Michigan Department of Corrections. Now, each of the charges stemming from the Ferndale incident is a felony, so it's safe to say Brazel's in some hot water. Just like him, there's a lady who sees herself as a superhero, but unfortunately, she fails miserably. In West Memphis, Arkansas, on a September evening in 2022, a routine traffic stop quickly turned into a dramatic scene. As the dash cam of a police vehicle recorded the events, a red Pontiac zoomed past at about 50 miles per hour, catching the attention of an observant officer. It's Illinois David Edward 50578. David Edward 50578, Illinois. It's a red Pontiac Grand Prix. I'm right here at the 1 on 55 South Bank. Approaching the driver's side, the officer noticed something wasn't quite right. The driver admitted he didn't have a license and a strong smell of marijuana emanated from the car. Adding to this complexity, a woman in the passenger seat claimed she lacked identification, and the driver's explanation of rushing his unwell friend to the hospital only added confusion. Well, suddenly, the woman attempted to flee, leading to a chase that ended in a collision with a box truck, splitting the car in half. Yeah, splitting the car in half. You heard that right. Check this out. Trooper Robert State Police, I stopped you for passing on the show to my man. You got your driver's license. I don't, I don't have a license. I was taking her to the hospital. She got the bullet to the bullet. That's why I don't know. Uh, go ahead. Step out for me. Oh. Step back in the back of the car. Any weapons on you? Oh, no, Nothing sir. in the car? No, sir. All right. So, so what's the deal? She woozy. Why don't you take her to the hospital back here? Because I had got off right here on my way here. She started saying she was a fellow girl, so I got off. Otherwise, I would have never got on this show. All right. You got an ID on you? Oh, yes, sir. All right. Give me your ID. Well, traffic's backed up because of a crash up here, okay? Because right. I was going to turn around right here and go back to the hospital. Right, Mr. Yeah. Winford, your car? It's a friend of mine. A friend of yours car? Okay. Let me ask you a question. You smoke uh, And be honest with me because I can smell it on you. Yeah, before I got in the car, I did, but there's okay. no in the car. You can put in the car? No, not it. there's none. You can, but you do the paper, stick your tongue out. Okay. So you, where are y'all coming from right now? I was coming from the hotel. From the hotel? Yeah, sure. right. she, Who is she? Ma'am, you got an ID on you? No ID? How do you know him? Friend? Any car that you know of? No? Okay. Hey, before I before I go back here, nothing nothing illegal on you. Oh no. Put you, let me check and make sure you got nothing illegal on you. Alright, be back with you just a second. When the officer stopped the car and started talking to the driver, he soon smelled marijuana coming from him. The driver didn't want to admit anything easily, but when the officer spoke to the woman in the car, he became more convinced that something wasn't right. All right, Mr. Winford, uh, before I go in your car or anything else, I'm going to tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time. Until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present with you for further questions. Do you understand those rights? Okay, the reason I'm going to go in your car is because I can smell the odor not only on you, but also in the car when I went back up there. Uh, that could be because it's on you. Yeah, it's, right. it's, a li it's, it's loud, um, and I can smell it. Uh, it's very strong, okay? Is there anything illegal in the car that I need to know about? No, sir. Nothing at all. Uh, is there any guns in the car? No, I don't. And it's not that you can't have a gun. I just want to know before I go sticking my hands around anywhere, no. I don't have no, a gun sir. go off in it, okay? No, sir. What about on her? Anything illegal you know about her? Not that I know. Of. But it's just your friend or girlfriend yeah, or it's a friend of mine. just a friend of yours? Okay. Uh, how do you know? Was she from here? Uh, yeah. Are you from here too? Yeah. I stay here now. Okay. So you don't have a driver's license? No, sir. After the officer became convinced that there was marijuana in the car, he informed them of their Miranda rights. The fear was visible on their faces as they realized the seriousness of the situation. He then instructed them to stand outside while he proceeded to search the car. I can only imagine the fear they experienced in that moment. 
Go ahead and place your purse up here. I'm going to tell you your rights, okay? You're not under arrest right now, but I want you to know your rights before I ask you any further questions, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one may be appointed you by the courts. If you decide to answer questions, you can stop answering questions at any time until you talk to an attorney or have an attorney present for further questions. Do you understand those rights? Okay. Anything illegal in your purse, anything illegal in the car that belongs to you, anything illegal on you, do I need to have a female officer come out here and check you? No, sir. No? Nothing illegal on you? No, sir. Nothing illegal in your purse? Because no, I'm going to search it, okay? Okay. So the reason I'm going to search the car is because I can put the strong odor of coming out of the car also on him. You smoke weed? Okay. So you smoke it? When I do Crack? It. Okay. Well, I was just wondering what the spoon was for, and I could see the, the powder residue you on it. It says that you'll see milk on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Not a big deal, then. All right, so here's what I'm going to have you do. Inside of my purse. Okay, here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you walk up and stand with him, okay? Just as the officers were searching the car, the woman was making some plans with a driver. She might have thought it would be easy for her to escape from the situation, but that's not going to happen. But before all this, she came to the officer telling him that her brother's gun might be present in the car. He's going, they were going, I don't know where they were going. And then as they get up here, he's passing on the shoulder. He says, she She says she don't feel good, so he's taking her to the hospital. I guess I can. I've Mirandized him. Yeah, just get him back here and talk to him. And uh, he's going, he's under the influence. You can look at his eyes and tell Well, she tried to escape the situation, but it was the worst decision she could have made for herself. What happened to her car? you can see for yourself the horrific accident. There's a possibility that my brother's gun might be in this car, just so you know. And if it is, it's in this room. I just want to let you know. Okay. Stay up here on the corner for me. My sister might have something in there as well. Hey! Hey! Stop! <laughs> Well, even witnessing her car horrifically crashed and broken into two pieces made the officers exclaim, OMG, and the driver in the car, seeing the situation, started crying. But luckily, this woman was saved. Though she sustained injuries, she was still able to communicate with the officer. Lay your head on that, don't move. Uh, I thought she ran over don't me. Move. Why did she? I, I know she couldn't walk the bike like I mean, we know why she's done it, but for what? Were y'all chasing her? Yeah, no. Of course, the driver said it's going to be hazardous waste. I don't believe it has the number on it. It's just got dangerous uh, placards on it. I don't know if it's got a... Well, when the officer started talking to her, she kept asking about her friend and expressed a strong desire to speak with him. However, the officer straightforwardly informed her that she couldn't communicate with him. What was particularly shocking was that despite all this, she asked the officer why she was being arrested. Hey, hey, hey. Man, why would you do that? I'm going to have to have your phone now. You know, it's evidence, right? No, sir. Well, upon her consistent request to talk to her friend, the officer asked her to stop and told her that she can't meet him. What? Can I call my girlfriend to get the no, car? No, you cannot act. You, can you call your girlfriend to what? To get the, the car. The car? Ma'am, your, your car's in two pieces. You don't even have back tires on. Hey, what's your name? Brittany. Brittany what? Um, Brittany Johns. Johns, J O H N S? Yes, sir. What's your date of birth? 1589. 6 of 89? Yes. Johns, the injured woman, was swiftly attended to by Crittenden EMS and transported for medical care, all while carrying an active warrant out of Illinois with full extradition. Meanwhile, the driver, Winford, found himself headed to the Crittenden County Detention Center. Upon arrival, he was promptly booked for a string of traffic violations and the serious charge of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Well, if you thought that was the worst of traffic stops, then you haven't met this man yet. In a surprising turn of events captured by a body cam, a police officer in Del Rio, Texas, stumbled upon quite the discovery during a routine traffic stop on September 14, 2022. The scene unfolded as a Texas Department of Public Safety, or TXDPS, trooper pulled over a vehicle on U.S. Highway 227 for a minor traffic violation. Little did they know, this stop would unveil a serious attempt at smuggling. 
Upon closer inspection, it became apparent that the driver was not just any ordinary commuter. They were attempting to sneak 10 illegal immigrants into the United States. Hey, Jonathan, come on out. I think the registration's also expired. Hey, how's it going, partner? With the highway patrol. Uh, come on back to the back of the truck. I'll show you what the reason for the stop was, okay? You a mover or is yes, it? Sir. Okay, okay. Uh, where are y'all coming from? Um, I'm going to Del Rio to uh, pick up and then going back to La Prior to pick up and then uh, shooting out to Austin. What are you picking up? Uh, freight. Freight? Uh, uh, pallets. Pallets. Okay. Going to Del Rio going to pick Del it up. Rio. So you're empty right now? Yeah, I'm Okay, empty. all right. So you don't have, you know, this is a big drug traffic corridor, human smuggling and all that. I've you don't have none of that here. stuff in there, do you? Yeah, I've never been down here. So. Oh, first time? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why, I, I don't know if you see all the border patrol and all the highway patrol all up and down the road. Okay. You don't have none of that stuff in here, do you? No, no. All right. Would you consent to just opening it up and showing us what's back there? Sure. I appreciate you. Uh, let's do that right quick. We'll knock that out and I'll get you identified. Make sure you're carrying your license with you in the future, okay? Oh, man, no good. All right, go ahead and place your hands behind your back for me. Hey, no Well, it seemed like just another routine stop, but as the officer approached the vehicle, they couldn't ignore the sight of 10 illegal immigrants packed inside. What's more baffling? The driver's bold-faced lie about the trunk being empty. Talk about audacity. You understand your rights? Yes, sir. All right, I stand. All right, let me give you that water really fast. Uh, Can you give us your email? Yeah. Did you ride down here on a bus? That, that's the, no. That's the, the transit from San Antonio. From San Antonio? Yeah, that's the via the downtown bus. Takes the town and back home. The driver has been officially charged with the smuggling of persons, and all 10 illegal immigrants have been referred to the United States Border Patrol, USBP, for further processing and appropriate legal actions. Just like him, there are two others who instantly became confused, but are still doing their best to hide their wrongdoing from the cops. During a routine patrol in Alpharetta, Georgia, officers noticed a vehicle making an improper left turn on May 6, 2021. The driver and her male passenger seemed nervous, prompting further scrutiny. Despite the driver's refusal to consent, suspicions arose when the passenger provided a false ID. Lack of insurance heightened concerns. The passenger eventually confessed to his real identity, revealing an arrest warrant. A canine unit indicated drugs, leading to the discovery of illegal substances, needles, scales, and methamphetamine. Check this out. Good evening, how we doing? I'm fine. Did, did I do something? Did I... You did. You made a improper left turn. You did it from the straight lane instead of the actual turn lane that's marked all over the road. Oh. Okay, I'm not from up here. I okay. didn't, I've never. What are we getting into tonight? Just on my way home. On your way home? Yeah. Where's home? Um, Chatsworth. Chatsworth? Mm-hmm. Okay, and where are we coming from? Um, I don't know where it's called. Um. I was at the Mall of Georgia today, sir, and I have family down here. I live, I live off Sugarloaf. Okay. I live off Sugarloaf for like three and a half years, and my aunt still stuck down here. I spend the day. Well, I don't work at the Mall of Georgia, but I have a hard time believing it's open until oh, 1.30 in the morning, so. I know. I we there today. I was there today. I spent with my aunt. Uh-huh. I just left my aunt. Okay. Both of y'all have IDs on you? I don't have no ID on you, sir. You don't have ID on you? Yes, you normally roll around town without ID? What's your name, sir? Daniel Atkins. Daniel what? Atkins, sir. Atkins? Yes, sir. A.T.? Yes, sir. When the officer started asking them basic questions, both of them got really nervous and started getting mixed up and confused right from the beginning. 
Slayton, can I get your top out here with me, please? Just right here. Alright, so you said you guys are coming from where now? His aunt. We went to the mall with Dorothy today. Yeah. We went well, to his aunt. And where's his aunt live? After that, um, I don't know. You're driving. How do you not know I, where you're coming from? I didn't drive down here. You I, didn't drive I down from, here? I come from Gwinnett. Okay. But you don't know where in Gwinnett his aunt lives? Um. I, and you I just know. left the aunt's house like now? Uh, yeah. I follow GPS. You just follow GPS? Okay. And you said you're heading where now? Chatsworth. To Murray County? Yes. Like North Georgia? Yes. So why are you heading this Following direction? Following GPS. Following GPS. I can show you. Why would GPS take you from Gwinnett and come further south if you're going the opposite direction? I was stopping at this gas station. I was going that way. You were going that way? Yeah. That's the way I was going. What's wrong with all the other gas stations that you passed between here and Gwinnett? They was not opened. They're not I open? Just, from where I just come from mm -hmm. to now, this is the first open gas station. Okay. What's Mr. Atkins to you? A friend. A friend? Yeah. How well of a friend is he? Okay. Like, how long have you known him? About a year. About a year? Where'd y'all meet? In Chatsworth. In Chatsworth? Mm -hmm. so that's where he's from, too? Okay. No, that's where I met him. And you're just driving around to his aunt's house? No, I mean, we're friends. We went to the Mall of Georgia together. Did right, you do any shopping, or...? We'll look around, see if they had anything different at their mall than we do at our mall. I gotcha. Okay. And does he live with you, or...? No. Okay. What's your current address? Uh, my current address is... Okay. How long ago did you move? From uh, before the tornado, uh, about... Maybe two years ago? Two years ago. Okay. Any reason why you haven't changed your address? No, that's where all my mail goes to. Okay. Whose vehicle is this? Mine. It's your vehicle? It's registered to you? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I'm, yes, it's, it's, I'm, it's um, financed. Uh huh. I guess it's registered to the fi who's financing it? Or? Yeah, it'd be registered to you okay. if you're the owner. Okay, then it's registered to you. So, okay. All right. So you guys met in Chatsworth? Where in Chatsworth did you guys meet? Like, did you guys go to school together or? No, I'm at a friend's house. Just out of the blue? At a mutual friend's house. Mutual friend's house. Okay. Well, it's a mutual friend now. I gotcha. Okay. So what time did you leave his aunt's house? Um, just right before we left, right before now. Whatever time it is. Um, you don't know like, what time it is? It's like 2 o'clock. Okay. 1.30. Okay. And so y'all were just hanging out at the aunt's house after going to the Mall of Georgia today? Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. Alright. Give me a favor, hang tight right here in front of my car while I talk to him real quick, okay? After obtaining sufficient information from her, the officer proceeded to question her friend. However, he became incredibly nervous, his body visibly shaking even after five minutes of interaction. Adding to their anxiety, they immediately lit cigarettes as soon as they were pulled over, further indicating their unease. What are you so nervous for? Dude, you're shaking like a leaf. Why don't you like the police? I just met you five minutes ago. All right. But what? Have you been in trouble before? Or? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. You used to be in chain gang for what? Probation violation. How'd you violate probation? Non-report. You ever been in trouble for drugs or anything like that? Nothing. Never used drugs in your life. What have you used? Just marijuana? Nothing else? Not at all. Alright. Right. Hang tight for me, okay? Meanwhile, the deputy requested the female driver's permission to search the vehicle, but she refused, and anyone can guess why. Well, the male passenger, lacking identification, provided a name and birth date that didn't match the information retrieved upon verification. This discrepancy only added to the suspicion, especially considering that the vehicle lacked proper insurance coverage. All right, the information that you're giving me, you, you can't even tell me the actual address that would have been assigned to your driver's license. The addresses that you've given me that you apparently lived at in Dalton don't even come close to what's listed on there. So look, listen, listen okay? Before you get yourself in trouble, okay, I'm gonna give you one more opportunity to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, okay? Listen, All right, honesty will get you a lot further this I encounter understand. than lying to me. 
Okay, I understand you're nervous. Okay, you've been shaking like a leaf. Both of you guys lit up the nervous cigarette the second I got to the window. Okay, your story doesn't make two bits of sense. Okay, I love my auntie too, but I don't leave my auntie's house at 1.30 in the morning and drive the complete opposite direction. Okay, and then notice a cop pulls up behind me when I'm getting off the highway and you guys just miraculously turn left right in the middle of an intersection. So listen, okay, help yourself out. I didn't help myself out. I just went through this with two other officers, sir. Just went through the same incident. You went through what? The whole them thinking they ain't me. With her at her work, I swear. What, what does that mean? Like, all right, well, I pulled in at her uh, her work, and two officers said that the car was showing up. Uh, the insurance was didn't say it wasn't invalid, but it wasn't it, it wasn't showing nothing. Well, the tag is showing no valid insurance. That's, that's what I, I see. I don't I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So apparently, the vehicle doesn't have insurance on it. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know that because. Okay. But we can deal with the vehicle in a second. But I. But I, I'll be honest with you. I went through the same thing though. You got a Facebook or anything? That's my point. I know. I mean, I mean, the next step we're going to do, man, is I'm just going to call a sergeant out here with a fingerprint scanner, and we'll find out that way. Okay? But I'm just telling you right now, if you want to save yourself the trouble, now would be the time to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, okay? Because that fingerprint scanner don't lie. So, you decide. You're a big boy. You can make that decision right now. You want to tell me what your real name and date of birth is, or do you want me to get the, the fingerprint scanner out here? Get it out here? All right. Well, if this was their opportunity to come clean and be honest, but they continued to consistently lie. The officer then used a dog to check for any substances in the car, and the dog immediately signaled a positive indication. All right. So I'd be, I believe in honesty. Okay. Obviously, y'all just saw me run my dog around the car. Okay. Uh, my dog's trained to alert four known odors, that being methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine, and marijuana. Okay, and running my dog around the car, he's showing me multiple breathing changes, behavior changes, final alert on the driver's side of the vehicle, impingements on the door seams, all right, which indicate the odor of one of those four things is coming from the inside of your car, okay? So, ironically enough, when I run Mr. Adkins' information here, he's actually on felony probation for possession of meth, okay? There's a reason why I ran him after I ran it, because I didn't want anything that I might have known about him to influence my vehicle search whatsoever with my dog, okay? So... Like I said, honesty is the best policy. All right, I got a family to go home to. I don't want to get poked, stuck, ingest absolutely anything that's inside that car. So I would greatly appreciate it if you would be just so kind to tell me what's inside the car and where's it at, so that way we can avoid all that. Um, I have some dabs in okay. my purse. You have some dabs in your purse. Yeah. Okay. What else? That's it? Mr. Atkins? Anything? I noticed there's a bunch of bags in the back seat, so... How long have you been smoking wax? Oh, no, about six months, seven months. Okay. Five. And you got your smoking device in there with it? Yeah. Alright, you smoke it out of like, do you smoke it out of, like the, out of the little rubber stupid sm device that they use now? Is that what you have in there as well? I'm going to go to jail for this. Do I, uh, we're, we're, we're putting the cart before the horse, okay? Let me search the vehicle first, okay? Anything else in there besides dabs? Now would be the time to tell me because I'm going to find it, okay? It's on the tip of your tongue. Mm. No. Oh, I mean. Following the arrest, both the male passenger and the female driver found themselves facing a multitude of charges. They were arrested and formally accused of drug trafficking, manufacturing, distribution, and delivery. The male passenger incurred further charges for providing false information to law enforcement, compounding his legal predicament. Similarly, the female driver was slapped with additional charges for driving without insurance and making an improper turn.